A lot of family, welcome to my channel, Black Sheep Long Wolf Tarot. I started your reading Pisces for December. I don't know what just happened. So I'm having to start all over. I hope this doesn't happen again. Either way, um, two cards did come out for the energy, which was Healer of All Ages, Healer of All Ages and First Chakra, Archangel Michael. And before, before um, the video, before something happened to the video, I was getting into you being divinely protected about your aura being regenerated. And I don't know if it's the lighting out here that's not capturing, that's why it didn't continue. I don't know what just happened. And my screen went black. I don't know. It could be the lighting out here as well. So I do apologize if this goes back off. But I am going to continue. Again, so that was Healer of the Ages and Archangel Michael. Um, I was saying something about your your aura being regenerated, meaning that you have a brighter glow about yourself. Some of you are going through major transformation, but rest assured that you are divinely being protected. You're divinely being guided. I was saying, if, you know, if life is throwing you lemons, make lemonade. Throw a few strawberries. You got strawberry lemonade. Change is good. Change is. the angel of love as well so for some of you this could be in a sense of romance this is a relationship that there's a change in and since we got the angel of love i'm gonna go ahead and use the romance angels y'all know i don't do love readings right y'all know i don't but i'm gonna get into it anyways just for you guys Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, Pisces, North Node. What is this Angel of Love? December 2020. We, it's, we have, it is safe for you to love. It is safe for you to love. I hope y'all can see that. It is safe for you to love. Y'all, I had a good ass seat the other day when I did my reading outside. But you know, people be watching you and want to know what you got going on, want to steal your vibe, steal your energy. <sighs> what they don't know is, you know, they can't steal your vibe, they can't steal your energy. Not when you divinely protect it, not when you divinely guide it. You know, sometimes it be your, it be your own family, it be your own friends trying to sneak up on you and do you something. Being sneaky. Pisces, you got somebody being sneaky. I don't know why I'm bringing this up to y'all. You got somebody in your energy being sneaky. They want what you got, but they can't get it because they don't understand that Pisces is divinely fucking protected. I just have to say that. They don't come around laughing, trying to, you know how they, what they say, poke the bear. You know, they, they, they push your butt and try to challenge you, try to do things to get at you. Try to get a reaction out of you, Pisces, but they're not going to get one. Because for some of you Pisces, you know, they may. But for the rest of you Pisces, it's like you're smiling from the inside out because you know that you got your shit going on. You know that shit is right. You know that you're protected. So it's like it, it's not even phasing you right now. It's not even about 444 when I just said that. It's not even phasing y'all right now. It's not bothering you. They look stupid. They end up looking foolish trying to even fuck with you. I'm telling you, some of y'all light y'all aura right now. 
it's so fucking off the chain that it's, it's blinding some people. It's blinding them how bright you're shining. Your glow up. <clears throat> I'm still gonna get one more romance angel. This lighting is like throwing me off, but okay. Nothing else is coming out from your romance. All it says is you're safe to love. So anybody that's trying to throw any shade your way in regards to love or relationship, new or old, you're still protected. Either way. So we're going to get some Fortuna cards. Some Madam and Doris Fortune cards. Okay? For December 2020. Pisces, Diamond, Venus, Rising, Pisces, North Node. That one has to come out. About flew out of my hand. Love. True love and fidelity. So I'm going to put that next to the It is safe to love. Some of you are healing a love relationship that's current. I can't say the damage hasn't been done. I can't even say that you're necessarily going to reconciliate because it's saying it's, it is safe for you to love. That could be current or new. But the damage has been done in, in, in the results of a current love relationship. Yeah. We have the Cadaceous, Cadaceous, Cadet, whatever, however you say this. You will receive news from afar. Um, you may not have been in communication with this person. But yeah, with that, that always reminds me of health or healing. It has it also has the Taurus symbol. So this could be someone's um Taurus and they have Taurus in their Venus or it's their sun or moon sign. Earth energy. Um, this person could live at a distance from you. I don't know why I feel like saying this, but this person is a Saints fan. Something about the Saints. They like watching football. They're a Saints fan. Or they could live in that, that region. Okay. Or be from that region. Okay. I look crazy right now, y'all. <laughs> Just as I say that, two cards fell out. We have, oh, the Harlequin. This is the Harlequin. This is a person wearing a mask. This is someone being deceptive. This is someone who's you know, not really revealing who they are and the shit that they've been up to. We're going to find out who the hell this Harlequin is or what this Harlequin got going on. True feelings are a mask. Y'all know I don't like when that card come out. Because it's like, it's somebody being false. It's somebody, you know, either shady or they just hiding who they are and what they got going on. Winds of change. Your surroundings will undergo a trans transition. Changes in location, maybe. Um, changes in traveling, possibly. Maybe you traveling to see this Harlequin or this Harlequin traveling to see you. It is the holidays, so vice versa if it go. We're going to see who this, who the hell is this Harlequin. I don't mean to ask like that, but y'all know I get irritated when I see that Harlequin card. We don't do clowns. Nah. We do not do clowns, okay? Who's this Harlequin? Or what does this Harlequin have to do with Pisces? My spiritual Pisces family. Who is this Harlequin? You guys, this is a collective message. It may or may not resonate with everyone. I do feel as though if you're on my channel, you're here for a reason. And it will resonate with you. This Harlequin is your official person. 
your official person, whoever this may be to you, whoever this star player is to you, they are not revealing their true selves or what the hell they got going on. They're not being truthful in regards to something. Expose this truth, spirit. Expose this heart of them. What, are they, what are they hiding? What is this hollow for hiding? It's supposed to sound like What are they hiding? What are they hiding from Pisces? Mm. Main female. Official person and main female. They're hiding their regards. If this is a third party situation, they're dealing with someone else. They're hiding the fact that they want you back or they're still dealing with you. That's for somebody, okay? I haven't used this deck in a while. This is the wisdom of the hidden realms. We're still in the oracle energy. Let's see what comes out. Preparation, prayer, sacred ritual. This is the, for me, the high priestess card. Um, in regards to this situation, you are well aware, Pisces, of what's going on, what's being done. If there's any secrets, if there's any changes that someone is not speaking on, there's not a lot of communication going on between you and this person. But whatever it is, you already know. You have this knowing about you that they can't hide any secrets. Or what they're going through. You already know. Whether it's been presented to you by spirit, dreams, intuition, psychic abilities. You already know what's going on. It's not hidden. You're not in the dark about anything. In regards to this love situation. Whether it's with a relationship, family, or friend. You're not in the dark about it. The Desert Prince, strong fire energy. For me, this is like the the Knight of Wands type of energy. This person is a player. This person is not sincere about, you know, um, take this. It could be a man or female. But um, they have a lot of false promises because they're still playing. In the background, they're still playing. They still have playmates. You know, they, they're wanderers. They're wander here. They're wander there. They keep secrets. They do it to survive. Someone is using someone for their their resources. This is um, a survival mechanism that they've learned from um, getting their teenage years and, you know, during their youth. This is how they survive. Praying on the love and romance of others, you know, just to get their will, get get, get their way, what they want done. This is the way someone's learned how to, 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 to survive by um, lies and romance sex this is the way they learn how to get by they may want to change these ways just to make things more official with you but i'm getting that this person is still stuck in that type of energy they're still stuck in the same type of mind frame they have not matured in that way you know take it as a resonate male or female When I do my readings, you guys, it's not gender specific at all. I may say he, she, her, whatever, but it's not gender specific because it is a collective message and energy, you know, resonates differently and accordingly. Okay, I want one more from this day. One or two more spirit. Okay. Mm. I wasn't expecting that at all. Mm. 
before I flip this card over, I'm just going to say this and be done with it. Because y'all know I don't do this love shit. I really don't. I really don't do these love readings, son. <laughs> you know, some of y'all Pisces, y'all kind of feel like I do. You know, y'all more, you know, you're more worried about your finances. When it comes to that love stuff, either you have a lot of it or you don't. This person could be a very strong soulmate, or I hate to throw that word around loosely because nowadays it's just been thrown around um, effortlessly, and um, that is the twin flame, you know. But this partnership, I hear doomed from the start. I hate to say that doomed from the start that mean the efforts that started off with this relationship it was asked backwards basically because you know remind you with this desert prince this person had a mannerism that they learned from their youth on how to deal with people i feel like that's them and then here you are as a high priestess high priestess you your intuition your psychic abilities being able to know things without anyone saying a word you know doing from the start because you both you matured at a different rate now we have what this is the card that came out the sacred union partnership and romance for me that's the, a very strong soulmate twin flame type of energy you know this you um if you've been watching other readers out here you know this person is, is your 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 divine person your divine connection to someone else from a higher purpose a higher standard but again with these cards out here with the harlequin out here love is out here the healers out here it's going to take some time i'm getting i'm getting for this is for the other person because until they mature the way that they supposed to the way that they need to shit ain't gonna get done shit ain't gonna be right i kind of want to pull another card but i don't know which deck i want to pull it from it's like i want to know what's blocking i'm going to use the camera deck i want to know what's blocking this unit union unit. what's blocking this union? now i've already said it's their maturity but i'm going to see what spirit says I don't know what's blocking this union. Mm -hmm. Change. This person is not willing to change their ways, change their location, change their behavior, change the way that they've been doing things. That's what's blocking your union. That's the number nine. That's the highest, strongest number there is. Because after one gets to ten, it's a one. So nine. This person refuses to change. I'm getting something about the location or where they're living at, where they reside, where they work, who they're with. This person refuses to change. <laughs> What's blocking this sacred union spirit? That's the biggest thing right there. Cards just got so stiff in my hands. That's the biggest thing. Change. Bad health. This person is stuck in a toxic situation that is bad for their health. They're, this person is used to it. This is their survival mechanism that they're stuck in this karmic situation and they're going over and over and over and over with this person. They know they're with the wrong person. Do they want to leave? No. Look at this person stuck in bed. They feel like this person right here is the only person who can nurse them back to health. This is the only person who really truly understands them. This is the only person who, no matter what they're going through, you know, they understand and they know. But all along, there's a whole window to escape to something better. They don't have to be stuck in the same, the same position. They can leave. The door is open. The window is open. The light is on. But they stuck. Because all it takes is for them to leave out one of these windows. Get in there hooping. You know. <laughs> 
just to change, change from this toxic cycle, and they won't, you know. Some say maybe a curse. Some, a lot of people been saying it's black magic, black magic. They've been throwing that shit around so loosely, and everybody don't understand magic, whether it's good or bad. A lot of people don't understand that. So I don't think your person is going through any magic. I do believe that this person in their mind is in a karmic stuck situation that they themselves don't want to take themselves out because it, it, it holds too much responsibility for them. You understand? All right. So let's get to the situation portion, okay? Let's do that. Pastor, y'all got me out here speaking to the masses like this. Well, we 20 minutes in already. Okay, Pisces, y'all got me today. I don't know what's up. Y'all got my ass. Y'all can fast forward, skip through, whatever. The, the psychic tarot first. See what's up with you, Pisces, for December 2020. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Pisces, North Node. Make sure y'all staying hydrated. Now, right now, I want some water, but I'm not. I'm not getting paid to sponsor any water company, so I won't be drinking this <laughs> on camera. I'm just saying. Once I get a sponsorship or some shit. You know. I'm just saying. the lighting out here is natural it's kind of shady keep coming out for y'all Pisces recognition and reward recognition and reward so I'm getting that um <laughs> destiny is altering something for you it could be a romance because this person was a part of your destiny but they didn't they didn't recognize it they didn't celebrate it the way that it should have been so spirit is rewarding you possibly with something else in regards to a partnership or an alliance Possibly a newer soulmate or someone who fits your path. Yeah, this person did not honor the partnership that was that they were blessed with, that they were assigned to. That person stuck to their person. They stuck. They were in a toxic situation. Did not leave the situation for you, Pisces. So you're being rewarded with something else, something better. You know. That's that's just how it works. But sometimes we have to be able to let uh, let things go and move on. Some people get stuck in a rut. Pisces don't do that. Victory and success. Just as I say, don't do that. Don't get stuck in a rut because spirit has someone else that's on that has a calling, has a purpose and a mission for you to to work out. And I'm getting that's in this partnership. This could definitely be a new reward for someone else. If your person didn't come, Pisces let that shit go if this person didn't recognize who you were to them let that shit go if, this, if your person stays stuck with someone else let that shit go spirit is rewarding you like hopes and wishes in your dreams you could be dealing with an Aquarius hope hope, victory, success ooh receive that receive and um Know that this this message is for you, Pisces. At the bottom of the deck, harmony. Spirit is rewarding you. <laughs> Sp 
Spirit is definitely rewarding you, Pisces, with something else, something better. If this person is not your twin flame, they're, they're going to be a soulmate, someone who recognizes who you are. They're not going to be stuck in no, no other situation. Don't give this person a hard time. You are being rewarded. Spiritual strength. The heavens, your ancestors, your angels are rewarding you. So do not be stuck on any past person. Let that shit go, Pisces. Because you will harmonize with someone better. Someone who's who's destined, who's on your path. Who brings you hope, light, positivity. Who's your hopes and wishes. You didn't get, you know, that other partnership. So be it. You got someone better coming. So we're still in your situation. Of course, I'm going to use the Akashic Tarot for a few more messages. I'm not using the Celtic card. Not this way. I'm not with these cards. I only do the Celtic cross with the um, traditional. So these are tarot cards, but they're not the traditional. So I'm trying to just freestyle it at this point. Twenty six minutes in, Pisces, y'all done got the best of me. <laughs> y'all done got the best of me, baby. The seven of forces, which is for me the seven of swords, balance. Could be dealing with the Libra, balance. Yeah, cause you know the Libras like to know it all. They ain't gonna tell it all, but they like to know it all. Balance. So you're moving out of a sticky situation. You're no longer in deceitful, mischievous um, energy. You're moving to a more balanced, more, um, I'm hearing cleared karma. Ooh, whew. Pisces, y'all about to get the best of me, damn. Cleared karma is what I just heard. For me, it's like, you are ready for your person. They didn't leave that karmic situation. You were ready. You wasn't stuck in no other relationships. You wasn't the runner, the chaser. I mean, at times you could have been the runner. You could have been the pursuer. However, you you took this this relationship, this sacred union, and you were ready for it. But because your your person was a runner and they didn't they didn't really make this union the bond that it was supposed to be. This person still has karma from not answering their calling with you. But because you were there and ready, your debt, your karma is cleared. So your way, anything that's trying to make its way to you, any doors you need open right now, any blessings you need to come your way, your karma is cleared. So you're in a time where if you're trying to manifest some big shit right now, December 2020 is the time to do it. Your, your karma is, has been clear. Your debt, you know, non-existent. Okay? Pisces, y'all getting the best of me. I'm about to go. I'm about to go. I did not come up come for this. I am signed up for this right now. I thought y'all reading was going to be easy peasy. bird's nest the bird's nest three of forces for me that's the three of swords so there's a new beginning there's a new story to be told a new home to abide in yes someone was your heart they were your home they were your love they were your soulmate or your twin flame but they're not there no more so the sun is now shining on you you know how they say it's it's a rainbow or the sun comes out after the rain. Your rainbow has come out. Your sun has come out. Could be dealing with a Leo. Okay. One or two. 
some more messages for Pisces and we're gonna get up out of here. It was nice. Nice seeing you. Nice meeting you. Archangel Michael. This is the second time Archangel Michael has come out. Like you are so protected. You are one of his children that he protects divine mission. Yes, this y'all getting the, the best of me today. Let me tell you something. Archangel Michael don't play no games. When he come through, he come through with the come through. Swords blazing and moving and shifting and nobody better not get in his way. Because your divine person did not stand up for you and your union, let me tell you, they ass is grass. They going through some shit. They going through hell and high water. In their mind, they want you back. They want you so bad. They Some of them may even know you were that person and still didn't do right. And Archangel Michael sits there the whole time like, okay, you're not, they right there. You're not going to do what you're supposed to? Okay. I'm going to take my child away from you. I'm going to take my protected one away from you. And once I take them away from you, you will not have access to them ever again. Because Archangel Michael don't play by his. Okay? Archangel's like a father figure. You know? He really is. If you if you are a person and you had um, issues with the father or your father was not there, Archangel Michael don't play about you. I'm telling you what I know. All right, family, that was your reading. Peace and blessings. Thank you.